What is Knacksport and why should you be using it? Knacksport is a software tool for coaches which allows you to break down a game into its essential elements such as shots on goal, defensive plays, individual player performance or any other parameter that you can think of. By breaking down the game like this, you'll be left with a database of short video clips and related game data. Analyzing this video and data with the tools included in the software will reveal the strengths and weaknesses of your team, the opposition, individual players, or your strategy. Using these insights, you can make well-informed decisions about the strategy of the team. You can also identify trends and tendencies using a combination of video and data. The video will show examples of Naxport on both Windows and Mac OS. Be aware that there may be some differences depending on the operating system you're using. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. Downloading, installing and activating Naxport. Analysis options in Naxport. Tagging a video of a game. Creating a tagging window. Downloading a pre-made tagging window. Analyzing data on the timeline. The data matrix. The dashboard. Presenting insights to your team and exporting and sharing your analysis data. There's an index in the description which you can use to skip between each section of the video. This video has been designed to give you the essential information to get started with Naxport quickly. There are more in-depth tutorial videos for each tool. You can find the links to these in the description. So, let's get started. Let's talk about the process of downloading and installing the software. If you've already done this, feel free to skip to the next section, although there's some important information about the structure of folders you might want to hear. If you're starting a 30-day trial period, you can download the program from our website. Click on Free Trial, and then choose the program you want to try. Fill in the form, and click Send. We'll send you an email with a download link. Click this link and follow the installation instructions. Open the program and enjoy Naxport free for 30 days. On the other hand, if you've bought the program, you'll receive an email with a download link and a license number. You'll now need to activate your license. Open the program and go to Support and Updates and click Register and Activate License. Fill in this information and activate your license. An important part of the installation process that you should take note of is the folder structure that Natsport automatically adds to the Documents folder on your computer. The most important of these folders are Databases Naxport, which contains your completed and downloaded analyses, and the Categories folder, which contains all your tagging windows. These can also be opened directly from the View Analyses section of Naxport. For more information on this, we recommend that you take a look at the tutorial video related to the View Analysis area. You can find the link in the description. There are many common names for the process of breaking down game videos for analysis, but at Naxport we refer to this process as tagging. There are three methods of tagging a game with Naxport. These are tagging a video, tagging without a video, and live tagging. The process is similar for each in that you need a tagging window for completing this process. The biggest difference comes from where you obtain the video source. For this tutorial, we'll concentrate on the first of these options, tagging a video. When using this option, you have a pre-recorded video which you break down using the tagging window. For more information on the other two options, please click the links in the description for separate video tutorials. There are two things you need to tag a video. A video file, obviously. This can be in any of the major video formats. And a tagging window, which we'll talk about more later. From the menu, select Tag Video. Select the video that you want to tag. Next, select the tagging window you want to use. 
we'll select a pre-made window. You can also choose to create a new tagging window, which we'll talk about later. You can also download sample tagging windows from our website and use it for yourself. We'll show you how to do this later. After you've selected the one you want to use, these three windows open. The video player, the tagging window and the control window. These windows can be moved around to your liking. If using an extended screen, you could, for example, have the video player occupying one screen and the other two windows open in the other. This maximizes your workspace, but the placement is entirely up to you. On the tagging window, there are two main types of button, categories and descriptors. Categories are the main actions you want to analyze. On our tagging window, for example, all of these parameters are categories. Now we play the video and when we see a shot on goal, for example, we click the shot category. This tags the shot, which you can see in the play by play table. In other words, we create a short video clip which contains the shot, which can be grouped with all the other shots and analyzed in more detail later. But there's more. Descriptor buttons add context to categories. For example, this shot was bad, it was against, and it happened in the first half. You can add as many descriptors as you like, but remember, these will always be associated with the last clip category. This information is added to our clips in the play-by-play -play table and can be used to add a deeper layer to our analysis or filter our clips later in the process. So, you go through the video clicking categories, then descriptors as you see them happening. You can pause, rewind or skip through the video at will. Check out the full video about the video player which will show you how to customise the controls. The link is in the description. Once you've tagged the full match, you end up with a database of video clips and game data which can be analysed in the Naxport timeline by clicking here. Now you know the basics of tagging a match, let's go back to the beginning and look at how to create a tagging window. To create a new tagging window, click New Tagging Window in the main menu. These two windows open. Here you have the tagging window itself and here the control window. As you can see, the tagging window is completely blank. You have complete freedom to analyse exactly the parameters you want. Because of this, it's a good idea to sit down with a pen and paper before you start creating your window. Speak to your fellow coaches and get their opinions about what's important and generally be prepared when it comes to this stage. Double click the window to create a new category button. Change the name by typing it in the text box. Or by double clicking on the button itself. Hold Ctrl and double click to create a descriptor button, which would be used to add more detail to your main actions. Again, change the name in the text box or double click the button itself. Visually, this red dot differentiates between categories and descriptors. From the side menu, you can change the size, shape, color and behavior of buttons. To change the size, drag it from the editing points, or to move it, just drag it to the desired position. From the behaviour tab, you can change the behaviour of your buttons. One of these is the pre and post time. By default, this is 5 seconds at either side. This means that your video clip will be 10 seconds long. You can edit this to your liking. You can also change buttons to manual mode. This means that you have to click it twice once to start tagging and once to finish tagging. There are many more options available when creating a tagging window. For more information on all of these behaviours and a thorough overview of all tagging window tools, please check the links in the description. If you're just getting started with video analysis, you might want to consider downloading one of our pre-made tagging windows. These are completely free and will get you up and running quickly. We have tagging windows available for a wide variety of sports and levels. To browse our free resources, go to our website, 
click on resources and samples. On this page, you can filter the resources by operating system, by sport, or by NACSport program. Choose the tagging window you want to use, enter your email address, and we'll send an email containing a download link. You can download as many as you want and adapt them to your own needs. Okay, now that you know how to create a tagging window and how to tag a game with NACSport, let's move on to the next phase, analyzing your data on the timeline. The NACSport timeline acts as the main hub of your analysis, giving you access to various powerful tools for filtering and analyzing your data. The timeline can be opened from the tagging environment or the view analysis area. Select the game that you want to work with and click on the timeline icon. As you can see, the timeline opens alongside the video player. From here, you can review any video clip you've created. You can use the zoom function to get a better view of the timeline. By clicking on any clip, you can play them in the video player. These are your video clips, and from here, you can edit them to make them longer or shorter. You can navigate through all your categories here. On the left side, you have the same data presented in chronological order, similar to the play-by-play -play table. Click on any of these actions to play them in the video player. You can change the view and functionality of the timeline here. Across the top, you have access to various tools for conducting your video analysis. Tools can be customized to your liking in this menu. From here, you can add tools or remove them as you may need. There are links to more videos about the timeline environment in the description, but for now, let's take a look at the couple of the main tools that you can access from the timeline. The data matrix is one of the primary tools that you'll use when filtering your video clips and data. This table shows all the connections between your categories and descriptors. For example, if you want to see all those possessions that started with a kick or contain a kick, go to the intersection between possession and kick. Click on any action in this list to play it in the video player, giving context to your data. If we want to see all the line outs that we won, again, find this intersection in the table and that's exactly what we can see. There are several different tools available here, such as the multiple matrix, dynamic matrix, and custom matrix, depending on the version of Naxport you're using. Check the video in the description for a full walkthrough of this area. The Naxport dashboard is a powerful tool for the visualization of your data. It allows you to easily create different charts, graphs, and labels to get an at-a-glance view of your analysis data. Again, if you're new to video analysis, you can download several dashboards from the samples section of our website. The dashboard is connected to the tagging window, which means you can only view the data collected with your tagging window. Let's create a simple pie chart which shows our team's possession versus the oppositions. To do this, we click on this icon in the timeline and click here to create a new dashboard. Now enable the options and click on the icon at the top to create a brand new graph. From here, you have to choose the parameters that you want to display. In this case, our possession. Choose pie chart from here and then choose to show the values in time and as a percentage. Accept, and then when we return to the dashboard, you'll see our pie chart showing our possession. What's more, numerical data is connected directly to the video player. Clicking here will open the video player and allow us to see all the relevant periods of possession. As you can see, dashboards can be created through a series of clicks without any need for coding. They're also fully customizable. 
You can edit the colors, change the size and position of charts and graphs, add background images, and get some amazing looking dashboards. The final stage of the analysis process is creating a video presentation which contains all the insights you have gained. This can then be presented to your fellow coaches or players and used to form a strategy for games or training sessions. In the presentation area of Naxport, you can create professional video presentations quickly and easily. Click on this icon to open the presentations area. Select new presentation and give it a name. From here, you can put all the highlights of your analysis into one presentation, or split it into a series of lists. Here, for example, we'll make a list for shots, and another list for all our possessions. Adding clips to these lists is very easy. When you view a clip that you want to add to your presentation, either in the timeline, data matrix, or dashboard, you simply click the three key and the current clip will be added to the highlighted list. You can also select multiple clips and send them at the same time. From here, you can reorder your video clips as you see fit. You can also edit your video clips here. By double-clicking on them, you can open the clip editor. From here, you can add a note. From here, you can also add drawings to your clips using the Clip Draw Telestration tool. All of this allows you to create fantastic presentations, which can then be exported from Naxport. You can also play your presentations directly from Naxport. Obviously, there's much more to learn about presentations. We suggest that you take a look at the full video. There are several options for exporting your analysis data in Naxport. The main export will likely be the video export option that we mentioned in the previous section. But you can also export your raw data in Excel spreadsheet format. This is especially useful if you plan to use your data in third-party data visualization software such as Tableau, Power BI or Python. In addition, you can also export your analysis in XML format. This allows you to share your analysis data quickly and easily with other analysts who have access to the video. Lastly, we'd like to mention Naxport Hub, which is an online platform built specifically for storing and sharing your video analysis work. This is a great solution for improving communication at your club in an environment which is 100% safe and secure. So. There you have it, a quick overview of the various tools in Naxport. We understand that there's a learning curve involved when starting out using any new software, but we believe that Naxport is as intuitive as possible. Please remember that we have a library of free resources, such as the free tagging window and tutorial videos mentioned throughout this video, to help you get up and running. And, of course, if you need any additional help, we are here to answer all your questions. Until then, thanks for watching and good luck.